Hello traders, um, this is Snipe Trading with another video of a live recap here on a trade I did on NXE. And this time it's on a short side, so I'll go over my thought process on what my reasoning behind it and what my target was. So as I play the footage here, um, you can see I have a bear trend line drawn here. Um, and what caught my eye here was five day break, a lower high, and then you can see another lower high. So if you can draw this right here, you can see there's a trend line break and also, um, one of this inverted cup and handle pattern that I like to see. So once this trend line breaks, um, play the video here. So here I'm putting up levels. So 608 is that inverted cup line break and 613 is my risk. So I draw two levels there. Um, you can see I started 5,000 shares on that trend break. Um, and then I'm willing to add more on this 6, 608 break uh, where you can see I have now short about uh, 10,000 shares. So my expectation is um, getting this test on the five minute nine EMA, which is this red line. Um, but because it validated a very long time right above it, my thought process is it might just um, push down through it without giving it a bounce. So you can see some volume there getting picked up on that trend line break. So we'll see if we get some follow through. So 608 broke there on the level two, we're at 607. I'm just hanging on to my shares here. And my first uh, little target where I'll be taking is on a five minute 90 MA, which is around 605, 604 area. And you can also see if there's a 605 level here on um, the prior support here. So you can see I draw that trend line, um, which is a 606. So my first deal target will be that area of the 606, 605 area, um, just because there's the five minute 90 May is there. Um, but I'm willing to hang on until I see some sign of reverse on the level two. You can see the, the ass is still heavy and the bid is still thinning out. So I'm comfortable just hanging on to here. So now we get 605 breaking the prior support on the 606 area. Um, so now I'm going to get ready to exit a few, cover a few shares here. Uh, up 400 realize so far. So it took about a fifth there, 2000 shares cover on that five minute 90 MA. So now it's broken power support. And if it breaks this 590 MA, then my next target would be around this area, uh, which is around the 598 area and prior support, uh, pretty much around the same spot. So you can see it broke the 590 MA there. So now, now I'm down to two thirds of my position, sold about a third. We're going to see how it reacts here if it gives a little bounce. So I took a little bit more there just because there was some uh, bitters. So 
So here's the six dollar break. Um, and then I'm willing to take profit around this area uh, because of VWAP, which is the volume weighted average price on um, this blue line here that I have on my chart is 5.98. So I'm willing to take you know most of my shares here, um, expecting a bounce. And you can see the the one minute 90 MA is extended. So I'm looking for a bounce um, or, uh, you know, any sign of bullish moves to exit my position here. In, in the end here, I um, end up covering the rest around this area, the six old, um, around the six area here, which I think it's pretty extended on this downside, but um, expecting a bounce towards the prior support here of 606 and then continue to go back down. Um, but what ended up happening uh, shortly after this trade was Bit of consolidation and then just very slight bait towards the 15 minute 90 MA. Um, and like I mentioned, I'm more of a you know, I like to get most of my shares out of the initial move uh, if it does bounce access resistance and do another like lower high and break, then I would enter another trade there. Um, but I'm all out on my short position there, all covered up around the VWAP area and uh, realize total 630 um, in five minutes there. Happy with the trade. Um, wish I had a little bit more size, but I was risking about five cents there and it gone down five, uh, 10 cents. So that was a, you know, one risk to two R to reward there. So it's a decent trade. I'm happy of where I took it and can move on from there. So this is a quick little recap here. Um, and if you like this content, be sure to hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. See ya.